Good morning. Today's verse is Matthew 12, 29. For again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can plunder his house. So, the strong man that this verse is referring to is Satan. Satan was referred to the strong man back in ancient times. So if we read again, it says, Or again, how can anyone enter Satan's house and carry off his possessions? Who are his possessions? We are his possessions. Before time, we were Satan's possessions. But yet we may be saved through Christ. That he may carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man, Satan. And then he can plunder his house. So Jesus came on this earth to tie up that strong man and to plunder his possessions. When he came on and when he, he died and resurrected, that is exactly what he does. To understand this, this particular verse of the day, though, we need to look a few verses back. So the first part of this, this chapter 12, it, it talks about where the Pharisees were, were doubting Jesus as that saying that he was used of Satan and that that's how he was causing these demons to come out because he was in fact on their side. And he, he said to them, how can a house divide? It says, Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then could his kingdom stand? And if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by who do your people drive them out? So pretty much by who do you, the Pharisees, drive out demons, right? So then they will be your judges. But if it's the spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Something that is very pertinent today is we have a lot of evil spirits and demons in our society today. During this COVID pandemic, there is temptation like no other. A lot of us, especially in a, a, a wealthy Western country, we have plenty of time on them, plenty of technology everywhere, our phones, our, our internets, our, our TVs. There are so many things being poured out of us from Netflix, from Hulu, from Amazon, and all these things trying to capture our mind with sex, violence, and drama and things, and they want to numb us. They want to numb us, and Jesus came to steal Satan's possessions, and Satan is upset. He wants to take it back, so it's best for him to have a law time where everybody's happy and watching their internet so that he can try and take them back, but don't let him do it. Jesus said, for if your eye causes it to sin, it's best to pluck it out. For it's better to lose your eye than lose your whole soul into hell's fire. And if your hand causes you sin, it's better to cut it off. For it's better to lose your hand in, in, in earth than to lose your whole soul into hell's fire. No, do not cut off your hand. No, do not pluck out your eye. But maybe pluck out your TVs. Maybe pluck out your internet. Maybe do whatever you need to do to capture your soul back. Give it back to Jesus. To repent, to turn. Give it back to Jesus. Use, use things. There's all sorts of apps that can prevent you from seeing certain things. And we need to be careful as believers because this is a time of war and this is the latter times and they want to take us back. But Jesus, the verse of the day, again, is or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can plunder his house. Jesus tied up the strong man, let him do it again so that he can get you back. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for your word. Please keep us strong. Lord, we pray for those that are in need. Lord, we know that you know what they need, but we pray, we come to you because you ask us to come to you, Lord. For the bird, it does not worry about 
what it's going to wear or what it's going to eat, but you feed it each day, Lord. So please take care of those that are in need and that are without jobs, Father. We also pray for those that are trafficked. Lord, may they get free. May something occur today for someone out there, Lord. And we pray for those that are contemplating murder, Father. Please, when I say that, I say legalized murder, what they have as legalized murder. Please free them from that, Father. In Yeshua's name, amen. Goodbye.